how to convert your old SLC 500 to our new process automation controller, the M340. The M340 requires no battery. Every module can be removed under power without stopping the processor. Ethernet, Modbus, and USB are all built into the processor. First, we need your SLC program. Our modernization to M340 utility will convert your program so that we can migrate it to the M340. First, the hardware. I deliberately chose an application with some challenges. With the click of a mouse, I know that I can't convert one of the modules, and I know that my rack is too small and we have to make some adjustments. The bill of material contains everything you're going to need to execute the modernization. It includes the rack, the PLC, power supplies, I.O. modules, and our quick wiring adapters so that you don't even have to change the wiring of the SLC field devices. Our quick wiring adapter works well. Take the SLC terminal block, plug it into our quick wiring adapter, plug the quick wiring adapter into the M340, and voila. Our services group has an automatic conversion tool to convert your SLC program to Unity. For your basic application, the conversion will probably be 100%. Here is a converted program, the raw conversion. So what we'll do is we'll analyze this program. Oh, I do have an error. Again, I chose deliberately chose an application that will have some function blocks that we don't support. So I double click and I go right to the error. So I have two errors in wrong 40. So what I'll do is I'll look at the old program in the slick and I'll see I've got two sequencers. I've got the sequencer compare and I've got the sequencer out. So I'll address those issues before I uh, change the program and we'll go take a look. So when I go to rung 40, you'll see I have my sequencer compare and I have my sequencer out. I'm running a simulator which comes free with Unity. It's part of the software. So we can test the sequencer and the rest of the functionality of the unit. So if I need to force uh, values, simply right click. We will force this val value off and stop the flow. I can force this value on. And just watch the circuits flow. We all know there's no such thing as no risk, but we are providing you with a solution that's as close as you can get.